Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm showing you how to turn any photo into a print ready design using Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's get it. There's a few websites that I go to to find my photos if I don't have a photo that I can use that I took myself. And one of those websites that I talk about a lot are unsplash.com. This website is just so amazing. Uh, a lot of photographers from around the world submit their photos on this website and people like me and you can use them completely free without having any issues at all. That means you can use them for commercial use as well, which is what we need here. So. I went on this website and I looked up cactus because I wanna make a cactus desert theme design, something really simple. But basically we're gonna take one of these photos and turn it into a print ready design by doing a little color separation and all that good stuff. So let's get right into it. When you type in cactus on unsplash.com, chances are you're probably gonna see this photo right here. And if not, I will link it in the description below. But what we wanna do is we just wanna right click and copy image, okay? And then we're gonna go into Photoshop and I have a 14, I think, what is it? A 15 by 18 inch document, 300 DPI opened. I do this in every single video. So if you're lost, go watch one of my other videos and you can catch up. But once we have this document open, what we could do now is we can actually um, paste it in place. So let me go ahead and hide that design and do Shift Command V, paste that in place. If you can't tell already, I'm on a MacBook Pro, but if you are using a PC, I really suggest you guys learn your shortcuts. It's going to help you follow along no matter what system you're using. With that out of the way, I have the cactus here now and I need to remove the background. That is step one. And the newest version of Photoshop has this amazing thing under quick actions called remove background. They made this as simple as can be. You just click that once and it's literally going to remove the background. And sometimes it doesn't do a perfect job. That's totally fine. I can go in here with my polygonal tool and I could just delete the white or I can just simply select it with my magic wand. I'm using the magic wand to delete the extra white parts that I see on this photo, but it's important to note that you really uh, shouldn't do that. And the reason why is because the magic wand just kind of leaves your edges looking really, um, what's the word, just distorted and janky. Um, so what I would do is I would take a polygonal lasso tool and really zoom in and just delete the parts that you don't want. And that's going to give you much cleaner results. But this looks pretty good considering we did this so fast. Um, so now I have the cactus and that looks really, really good. We're gonna go ahead and toggle that off real quick. So I'm gonna hide this by clicking that eye because I wanna start adding some text. So I'm gonna hit T on my keyboard and then we're gonna start typing out um, my hearts in the desert, just like that. I'm using a font called Rock Grotesque, and this is an Adobe font. So if you have the Adobe Type Kit, you can download this completely free. It's uh, included with your subscription, so totally worth it, guys. Pretty much spaced out the way I want it, so I'm not really going to mess with it too much. I need to select all the text and just space the text out just a little bit more. That's pretty much all I wanna do. So in order to select all of the text at once, I'm just gonna double click on the T, thumbnail right here and I'm gonna hold down option and then press down on my arrow key and that is it and then just use these alignment tools to align your text super simple put that above everything and let's rename this cactus so we know exactly where it is so now we have the cactus and we have our text we're doing pretty good now if we were to go screen print this right now it would be a pain in the ass to screen print this because the colors are not separated so we're going to fix that in a second on the other hand if you're printing with dtg you can print this as is because dtg uses something called cmyk to print so you can print full images basically without really doing any color separation you can literally print a png image but again with screen printing it uses screens so we do need to separate our colors with screen printing so each screen has its own color that way the screen printers can print it if that makes sense. So we're gonna focus on that now. Now, what I wanna do is hide the text again, and we're going to convert this to a smart object. With smart objects, when we add adjustments to the photo, you can toggle them on and off. With raster images, they get baked into the photo. That's the easiest way to put it. I'm gonna go up to filter now, and then um, from filter, I wanna go to camera raw filter. And this is where we're going to really separate some of the colors that we don't need from the colors that we do need. So we're gonna go up to the top here under basic adjustments and we're just going to add some contrast, take away some of the highlights 
to make sure they're not too intense. From there, we wanna go to the color mixer, and this is the important part. We're gonna go to saturation, and we're gonna get rid of every color but green, okay? Every single color but green, and change the greens hue all the way to the right, so it's really poppy green, really, really green. And then we're gonna hit okay, and this is what we're going to be left with. This looks really good, so now what I wanna do is create two different copies, okay? One we're gonna separate the shadows from, and one we're gonna separate the highlights from in order to have every single tone that we need in the photo so it doesn't look awkward. And let me show you how I do that. So we're gonna click the image and we're gonna do Command J twice to duplicate it. We have two copies now. Well, let's rename the bottom one, um, let's see, uh, green. Let's just name this green. And then the top one, we're gonna name it highlights, okay? Um, and slash whites, so we know what those are for. And then on the bottom one, we're gonna rasterize this layer because we don't need that camera raw filter anymore. We have an extra copy in case we mess up. We need to go to FX, blending options, and what we're going to do is go to this layer, we're gonna hold an option and split this black right here. And what we're doing is we're deleting those blacks out of the image, just like that. And that looks pretty good. We're gonna hit okay. And now what we're gonna do is convert this to a smart object once again. And now if I toggle the background on and off, you can see it did delete those blacks. And that's what we wanted. And then on the top here, what we're going to do is we're gonna do the same kind of thing, but we're gonna make sure we actually focus on the highlights this time. So we're gonna go to effects, blending options, and we're gonna really go crazy with this one. We're gonna take those blacks all the way to the right. We're doing this because we wanna separate the darkest parts from the lightest parts so we can create those highlights in the image so it doesn't look awkward. So now we have the green and the highlights all separated on their own layer. So from here, what we could do is we can actually add color overlays to each color layer and make this any color we want. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna stick with the green. We're adding a color overlay to the top layer as well. And you might've guessed it, we're adding a lighter color to be the highlight. And since we are printing this on a black shirt, those dark colors of the shirt are going to bleed into the cactus creating the shadows. It's really nice. We're actually just gonna make those highlights white so it ends up being a two color print. And then our text is also going to be white but we're going to make the text really pop in a second. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we have the whites and we have the green and we're doing really good. So now let's go ahead and toggle on that text again. And as you can see, it doesn't look pretty yet, but we will change that. Let's go ahead and move that text above everything and it should look something like this. And from here, we could start deleting certain parts of the text in order to create an interesting look, okay? So what I'm gonna do is add a layer mask on the text layer and we're gonna take a soft brush Okay, so I'm just gonna go all the way up to my general brushes, soft round, and we're gonna make sure the blend mode is on dissolve because we wanna make this gritty, okay? So now what I wanna do is zoom in. Once you zoom in, you can start seeing the details here and we're just gonna start deleting certain parts here, just like this. We're gonna do the same thing for the T right here. And you could go as fast as you want, it's really up to you. We're gonna delete this right here. We're just doing this for pretty much anything we want to be behind the cactus, and that is it. It's really simple, guys. Um, this S can be behind. The text is kinda of hard to see right now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate it, and we're gonna rasterize this layer, okay? And the reason why is because we wanna turn this into a drop shadow layer or like a black layer, so we can actually see where the text is. So we're gonna make this black, and then we're just gonna drag it over a little bit, just like this. And that's simply because we wanna be able to see where the text is. Adjust all those settings under drop shadow, add some noise, and it's gonna create this really gritty look. If you zoom in, you'll see what I'm saying. And then you can rasterize that layer, add a layer mask, and just delete certain parts that you don't want to show. We do need to select the shadow layer and delete it from the cactus color. So we're just gonna hold in Command, select that thumbnail by left clicking, and we're gonna to toggle that off real quick. We're gonna go all the way down to the green and add a layer mask on that green, invert it, and now that is deleted from that green color. Now when we hide the background, you can see we only have two colors now. We have green and white, super simple to print, and that is literally all you have to do. I just realized I didn't delete the shadow from the highlight layer, and if you don't do that, this comma will disappear from that highlight layer. So make sure you also delete the shadow layer from the highlight layer so this shows up. Simple as that. We're basically isolating colors and processing the photo so it's easier to print. That's our main focus and this is what we accomplished at the end of the day. Let's talk about organization now because we have a lot going on, right? We could delete that original cactus layer now. Now all we have to do is group all the colors together so they're the same. So these are the whites and then we have the green right here. We can rasterize this layer now. So we have green and we have white. We can name that white. 
and that's only two layers guys so we literally have everything we need to print this design let's go ahead and mock it up and see what it looks like I'm gonna use my mock-up for this design if you guys want to buy this it will be linked in the description below but basically all I need to do now is hide the background select the entire artboard or canvas and we need to paste that in place here and we can resize it just like this. So this is what it would look like printed on a shirt pretty much. And I think it looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. That's it guys, that's all you have to do. I hope this video helped you out and kind of understand um, how to prepare files for screen printing. And if it did, let me know in the comment section below if you guys have any questions, you guys already know where to find me. That's it for this tutorial guys. Hit that thumbs up button to let me know you guys like the video. And like I said, comment in the section below and I will respond as fast as possible. Guys, keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.